Okay, so, uh, looks like we have enough, uh, reeds here. We've got a full reed farm. Lots of reeds here. And, um, <clears throat> we're ready to make our enchant table, I believe. Uh, we need obsidian. We need obsidian. Gotta go find some obsidian. Uh, one sec while I figure this out. Okay, so we need to make a diamond pick, and then we need to find some obsidian before we can make this. So I guess we're gonna have to mine a little bit. Um, yeah, might as well just make a quick mine, see if we can find some lava. The lava layer, so we might have to mine a little bit, but we'll give it a try. Well, back to mining here. And we'll see if I can find some lava. Now, it's funny when you're mining. Usually the thing you're looking for is like the last thing you find, so we'll see. Lots of people on this server, that's pretty cool. I've seen some of these people before. Lots of new people though. This is mining. But actually it's pretty good to have a mine that um, you don't have to worry about lava. you have a good chance of finding diamonds. You can mine for a long time in one direction and not have lava. Oh, look at that, diamonds. You see, I didn't mention it before, but my diamond texture pack is just one solid block, and it allows me to see if there's diamonds, uh, if there's like lava. So lava, you sometimes get a little peek at what's at the lava level. And so with the right uh, texture pack, you basically can see that. Keep going, let's see. Just do torch mining. It's a good way to do it. Torch mining, you just place a torch and all the uh, all the gravel just falls on top of the torch. It's actually pretty fun. But yeah, I found diamonds and I don't even want to mine them until I have a fortune 3 pick. Because otherwise I'm just kind of wasting my time. But yeah, pretty good to find diamonds. Oh, I hear lava. That's great. Ah, I mean, bad when you're mining, but great for uh, great for mining obsidian, which is what I need. If I can get some fortune, a fortune pick, and then we'll see if we run into uh, some lava or not. I need to get some. Uh, I need to get some blocks ready, just in case I run into lava here. Sounds like there's a lot of lava here, like all around me. It's good to have really good headphones that tells you what to uh, what to listen for. I hear lava. I don't see it.
All right, so let's find this lava here. I hear it, but where is it? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Sounds like so much lava on my left side. of iron. We'll need iron, that's for sure. Uh, what can I get rid of? Uh, the cobble. More torches. Toss the I don't hear any more lava, so, uh, yeah. Go back and we'll listen for louder, louder lava. You zombies. Ah, here we go. There's lava. Okay, so... We go up. And we look for lava. Uh, I think that should be alright. which we need for our enchant table. So that wasn't too bad. I don't like to explore caves. Oh, nice. Look at this diamonds. So the great thing. Oh, yeah, look what we got here. Get away. diamond deposits because we're going to end up using them. Uh, one sec. Saved a screenshot of where it was just so I don't forget about it. I mean, I used to use Ray's mini map, but honestly, you can just save a screenshot and it shows you exactly where you're going. Oh, look who's here. Creamy. Get out of here. here, but I'm not going to find any, probably won't find any diamonds. Oh, man, look at them. Look at this guy. If we light this up, then mobs won't spawn, so... Yeah, Enderman. Oh, look at this little guy. I want an Enderman. Need to start thinking about how we're going to get Ender Pearls. Oh, 
I mean, AI is good, but it's sometimes really bad at navigating. It's like cow, cow AI. Oh, look who's here to greet us. Go away. So yeah, Endermen. They're pretty brutal too, you gotta be careful with them. Oh, two diamond deposits. What? That's that's outrageous. That's crazy. I'm loving it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, gotta make a screenshot of this. Be back here when I have my fortune pick. Okay, now there's Ender Bro. And If I do this carefully, oh yeah, look at that, he picked up a mushroom. How cool is that? So I don't want to look at him, because that's death. Can't pick up cobble, so I can just safely fight him underneath here. Um, crap. Zombies sometimes do so much damage. So I gotta make sure that he's got a spot to... Oh, go away. It's here anyway. Just a regular spider. Oh, snap. Oh, these mobs! Plus I'm like glitched. Minecraft. Okay, we'll just isolate this spot. Some torches. Let's find Enderbro. Ah, where'd he go? Alright, I think I can look at him. He's gonna get pissed at me. Then I can attack him and hopefully I get an Ender Pearl. I can go fight him in like a too high section. No, I get nothing. Okay, well, not bad, not bad. So, yeah, we'll be back here when I get my fortune pick. easy to get lost when you're going caving and I mean maybe it's a little bit risky to go caving here but once you get everything all lit up it's not that risky it's a great way to find iron and diamonds I guess if the level's low enough Gold's good to have. It's good for potions. Oh, another Enderman. Two Endermen, what? Okay, that's great. 
I don't think those skeletons can get me. Uh, Enderman. Okay, I think this place is safe. Except for the Enderman. So I'll make this place safe. Make sure there's a way for them to get up. And I look at them. Nothing, eh? And the Spenderman? Hey. Comes over here. He gets pissed. Ah. Inner Pearl. Great. See? Not hard at all. Uh, I'm gonna put that into my slot for Ender Pearls. I'm staying away from that, they're just going to kill my armor durability. They want me, that's for sure. Okay, no more, uh... Man, I gotta make an enchant table. why you mine a lot of coal, because you need it for torches. Kind of creepy. I think I have enough diamonds. If I can get a uh, fortune pick, I think this will give me enough um, diamonds to uh, to continue with the ones I found so far. Now. And we'll need a lot of iron. We'll probably need about Maybe a stack of iron. This is where I fought those zombies. But it's safe caving because we lit it all up, so no problems with that. Find gold. Gold will be great for getting golden apple. Um, I'm gonna try for an enchanted golden apple. Regular golden apple's kind of a waste. That's where I fought the Enderman. I blocked that part up. back here and mine the redstone for like XP, but I think I'm probably just gonna 
make a grinder. Oh yeah, there's my double, double diamond. It's like skiing, double diamond in difficulty. Man, I love that. Super sweet. spawning around here. I think this is what I can do. Where did I come through here? So easy to get lost. I can, like watch my own video to see like where I came from. Be up there, hell yeah from here. indicate that something important I think I came from here somewhere not here oh man I got a lot of iron eh? that's good <laughs> never dig up This is where I came in. Or somewhere. Lost in Minecraft. That's very typical. What's this one here? Nope. I feel like my tunnels are around here somewhere, but where? Here it is. Obsidian and my tunnel. Good. So with obsidian, we want to get enough of it. Uh, preferably enough of it for um, nether portal. And for... Uh, what else? Nether portal and... Uh, enchant table. So I usually like to get about 24 and that will be enough for another portal. That will be enough for another portal. Actually two nether portals and a um, enchant table. So you'll see that I put down a um, a thing of water, and that's good if you've got multi layers of lava. So under this might be a layer of lava. Not sure why there's cobble there. Interesting. So yeah, I'll uh, mine out this lava, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so this works pretty good, this bucket. Um, there's lava above, below, beside me. But the water will make sure that uh, the lava instantly turns to obsidian. So yeah, this is the last one that I need. I've got 24. That's enough for one enchant table and two nether portals. Gets me into the nether and out of the nether. So well, that's good. Now where's my tunnel? Right here. So we can put a torch there, put a torch there. And we can come back. Uh, I don't know where I went. I think this is back towards my base. And I got lots of obsidian, so I'm going to make a enchant table. Yeah, lots of, uh, no shortage of that now. I carved out a space where I could put my enchant table. And now it's just a matter of putting all my cobble away, because 
Who needs it? Builders, maybe. Not me. Ooh, Fortune 1. Baller. Um, let's see here. So now I need enough of a book. Book. Now I can make an enchant table. Obsidian. All right, enchant table. Wonderful. This is a milestone. Uh, I'm gonna just collect this. I need it for books when I start enchanting books at level one. I'm not quite sure when that's gonna happen, but it's growing, so I'm gonna well harvest it. some left behind. Sometimes the grouping of this stuff like makes it collect and you don't end up picking it up so I'm just gonna double check. I got it. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, let's see now. Now we can take that, take that. I think we need something like that. Shelves. That's good. So all this is just really planning for our enchant. And now we can go here. We can try enchanting something at level 30. Level 30 enchant table setup. Uh, let's see what we get. I'm going to enchant an iron pick because there's a better chance of getting fortune 3 on it. Oh, unbreaking 3. That's like the worst. That's like the worst possible enchant ever. Oh my goodness. So bad. Ugh. Then you've got this iron pick that you've got to use for like a thousand uses until it runs out. Oh my goodness. That is just horrible. Anyway. Doesn't mean we can't enchant our gear. Um, you can put a bunch of torches around it, and that makes it easy to enchant stuff at level 1. And we'll see what we get. Blast protection. Well, I mean, not the greatest enchantment, but it'll help against random creepers. Regular protection. Okay, very good, very good, very solid. Projectile protection, okay, well, help against skeleton arrows, I guess. And regular protection. So, not too bad, not too bad. This will help a little bit. Uh, regular protection is good against spiders, so if we're going to be trying to disable a, uh, a spider spawner, we're going to need, um, you know, protection against their attacks will help. Um, it's not great, it's only, you know, two pieces of protection level one, but better than nothing. Uh, so I have this Unbreaking 3 pick, so that's the next step I guess is just to try and get a spider spawner. I'll try and disable one 
Yeah, this will be a little dicey at times, but um, eh, I'm going to try. Probably the first thing I should do is get some milk. So I'm going to take a break on this video here, and when I come back, uh, I'll have a bucket of milk, and then we'll see if we can find our spider spawner. Should be pretty crazy.